Hey there, this is Terry Carter, and I just got my Magic Jack, actually, about a month ago. Uh, the only reason why I haven't um, bothered with this sooner is because I actually did not have a telephone to use with it. Uh, if you're wondering what this is, if you don't know what Magic Jack is, uh, Magic Jack, I thought, was kind of like a Skype competitor, but actually it's very, very different. It's a really cool product uh, that was more or less free. Although after shipping and everything in the first year of service, I think um, it was like 50 bucks. So, finally bought a phone, finally got around to get the phone. <clears throat> kind of need that, otherwise it doesn't work. And uh, it says 60 seconds for a lifetime of savings. Plug any phone into Magic Jack. Plug Magic Jack into any USB port. And three, pick up your phone and talk for free. Well, I think it's going to be a little bit more involved than that because you also get uh, a phone number with this. So this is what it looks like. It has this, uh, um, you have a USB extension cord, not necessary, but since I am using it on my laptop, um, I'm going to use it. So we're going to just plug that in there like that somehow. And uh, actually it said to plug the phone in first, so we'll go ahead and do that before we plug it on the computer. So this is the first time I've messed with this uh, officially, and I've never really plugged it in or anything, so I'm just doing this uh, sort of live, kind of. You know, obviously, it's not live since you're not watching it when I did it. So we'll just plug that in there like so. And uh, this is for the Mac as well, the Macintosh uh, with Intel processors, older Macs that don't have the Intel chips that won't work. But thankfully, I have a new MacBook Pro that it's compatible with. So you plug it in and let's see, I don't know if you can see this, it uh, kind of glows. It's kind of cool actually, you can see uh, all the little circuits in there. Okay, so I am going to pause this part of the video because you don't really need to see too much. Hello? Let's put it on speakerphone. Okay, you're getting a weird thing. You're supposed to get a dial sound. Actually, be hang that up. Obviously, I haven't set it up yet. I'm going to do some desktop recording of the process of actually setting up your Magic Jack for the first time. Uh, real quick, let's see. You get free local and long distance calling in the US and Canada all the time. You get a free phone number, which I think is really cool. And free voicemail, caller ID, and I believe call waiting. And what's really neat, especially with a laptop, you're always turning it on and off. It doesn't matter. If somebody calls you, they won't know that your phone number, which you actually get to pick uh, in several different markets. I'm not going to pick one in my local market. I'm going to pick one somewhere else as far as the area code. And you uh, don't have to have your computer on or even the phone plugged in for somebody to call you. They just will get your voicemail, and you can always check your voicemail later on uh, after the fact. But obviously, if your computer is on and your phone's plugged in and the Magic Deck's plugged in your computer, you will have your phone ring just like a regular phone would. So, I'm going to pause the video right here for a moment and switch over to desktop recording. Okay, for those of you who have not seen the Magic Jack site, it's magicjack.com. <clears throat> and that's what it looks like. And <laughs> good marketing campaign. They, uh, the first day it came out, back I think it was March 1st, uh, it made it sound like only the first 20,000 units were going to be free. But as it looks like here, it looks like actually you can always get it free and today is April 4th and 33,000 people have already grabbed one today it's kind of funny it says hurry free trial offer not available in stores only available here until Monday April 7th only 20,000 are still available for the free trial offer yeah right well anyway uh, let's see directory assistant yeah that's another cool thing you also get free uh, information directory assistance uh, included free voicemail free call waiting free phone number free caller ID so I plugged it in and I plugged it on my computer, so what's going on? Let's see, what do we have to do? <clears throat> I think right now we'll just temporarily pause this while I try and figure out what to do. Okay, I'm looking here, and apparently I need to click on a uh, Start Magic Jack, I guess. Let's see what happens. Double click. <coughs> Download in progress, please do not unplug. Yes, sir. I was reading the back of the box somewhere here. It actually said, uh, 
installation help if it doesn't install after three minutes. And unplug your magic jack, wait 30 seconds, replug it into a different USB port. This is usually the simplest fix that resolves most of the situations. Wait another two minutes for the software to completely install. Do not attempt to call or press your keyboard until you register. Okay. Well, one minute. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> okay, now what? What's happening? Okay, you also get a virtual keypad, so maybe I didn't even need a telephone. Imagine that. Hmm. All right, I'm going to pause this right now while I enter my uh, private information here. Okay, I entered my email and a password. Now it's asking for all this good stuff. So I'm going to fill that. Okay, I entered my information. Now I get to choose my area code and prefix. So I'm going to go do that right now. Okay, it now says uh, confirm your information that I already did. I picked my phone number. It says it may take up to two hours to activate. So we're going to activate. Okay, I don't know. It says it takes up two hours to get set up. Let's turn my speakerphone here. And let's see. Got a dial tone. Let's see here on the screen. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. It's got this virtual thing here, too. But anyway, I'm just going to dial my number. So let's see. I wonder if I have to dial the area code. There's not a phone anyway. <laughs> I might be down with somebody in there, the place where I picked my number. Probably. I would guess so. So we're going to try that again. We're going to dial with the area code. See if my phone rang. Yep, there we go. All right, so when you dial, <laughs> it kind of helps to dial with the area code. I dialed one the area code, so I'm going to hang up. There you go. Pretty cool. Seems to work just fine. Okay, now uh, I'm going to call my cell phone here and uh, see if my, my phone rings. Oh, there we go. I can have a conversation with myself. Hello? Hello? Who's this? I don't know. Get out of my head! <laughs> okay, that's pretty neat. Hello? 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 Hello. Echo! Alright, so that's cool. And, uh, I think it's... Hello? Hello? Oh, wait, hang that up. <laughs> Alright, let's call back again and uh, let it go to voicemail. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Oh, on the screen, I can accept or reject. And from my cell phone, the number's still ringing. Okay, and it's saying here to uh, set up your voicemail, dial the number. I'm assuming dial from your Magic Jack phone. Press the star key, enter 1234, and follow the prompts. All right, so I'll do that. So I have some voicemail. Okay. I'd say it's pretty self-explanatory. I just figured I'd shoot the uh, video just to, just to do it. And it uh, looks like this is going to be a really cool, really inexpensive way to uh, have a phone. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say about Magic Jet that's really cool is uh, it uh, asks you where your address is. And there's a pop-down menu that allows you to change that. So you can pretty much be anywhere in the world, hmm, kind of like a cell phone but it's your house phone, but you may not necessarily be at home, so. Wow. Kind of confusing. Pretty cool, though. All right, that's a wrap.
Get your magic jack at magicjack.com. They should pay you for it, but they won't. Bye.